Uh, my name is Dave Smith. Uh, the name of the company is Techscape IT. I ran away from home at 15 years old. It was about 10 p.m., right before my 16th birthday. I broke into the Boy Scout house. I opened the window, and I went in the window, and I closed the window. That's called breaking in, unfortunately. I slept on the floor there. I eventually went back home about a week or so later. I got a knock on the door. My mom's like, oh, somebody's down here to see you. It's the police. They handcuffed me and then drove me to the station. I cried my eyes out. I was terrified. I'm 16 years old, and I'm sitting in jail for five days. I had these delinquent friends that I was hanging around with, and I'm like, I'm done with them. <laughs> like, that's, that's the end of that. I'm like, I don't ever want to go through that again. That was a changing point in my adolescence. And the other changing point is when I graduated high school. As I barely passed, and then at the end of high school, as I'm getting my diploma, I say to my mom, I'm like, top of the world, ma! And I was super excited about it. And two or three days later, I'm like, nobody cares. You know, nobody cares about me succeeding anymore. Because when you're going through school, the teacher's primary job is to make sure their students get the grades that they need to get. That's the goal. But as soon as I got out of it, nobody cared anymore. It's kind of like a shock. And I went to my mom after that. I said, can I go to college? She's like, you're out of your mind. I'm not going to pay for you to go to college. You got arrested and you barely passed high school. You think I'm going to give you any money to go to college? Where it dawned on me and I'm like, oh my God, I got to do this on my own. I got to figure this out on my own. How do I do this without having help? So that's where it began, and, I, and, and, and that's how it kind of started. I was doing data entry, I was a stock clerk, and then my stepfather passed away. That was kind of the final piece. I said, all right, I need to do something big now. I'm going to make bigger decisions in life. I'm not going to be lackadaisical and live in small town Connecticut and grow from small town Connecticut. I need to make a much bigger decisions. I need to take challenges. I'm going to move to Boston. I'm going to start a company. I'm going to move to New York City. I'm going to go there without any friends and live in a studio apartment and just believe in it. My father used to have a saying, can't never did nothing. And it's the most broken English. But what he was trying to get across, and I didn't realize until after he'd passed away, is that if you say that you can't do something, you've failed before you've begun. You have to continually push forward past the point and never say that you can't do something. So that value that he instilled in me throughout my entire childhood is what gave me the ability to know that I was going to be successful and believe in myself. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to be able to stick your neck out there and say, OK, I need double the credit line that I need because I know that I'm going to be able to develop this business. You just have to believe and you have to push through all the failures and the people that say that they can't do it. Every aspect of your life creates a decision and which pushes you on a certain path that ultimately gets you to where I am today, sitting in front of you. I'm happy to be here, but if I didn't have any of those, those life challenges beforehand, I wouldn't have perspective to sit here.